I am here at uh, Hanweide for the first time and um, we come from Denmark, from uh, Denmark's Fly Museum. I am the mechanic and co-pilot for this flight. Uh, this is a Danish built aeroplane, very rare, there are only two built. Uh, this particular aeroplane is the first one, it's built, uh, had its first flight 1944 in May. It's made by Scandinavian uh, Aero Industry in Copenhagen. It's a design by the designers uh, Kram and Soiden. So the type is KZ-4. It's their, for, their fourth uh, aircraft type. It was um, constructed especially for ambulance um, uh, use. And it was ordered and paid for by a Danish company called Sonen. It says the name there, which was uh, a, a private uh, company doing ambulance service, and uh, and also uh, had, they had um, uh, car rescue and things. Um, the aeroplane was built uh, during World War II, where uh, aeroplane parts was very difficult. But the factory had two gypsy major engines of 120 horsepower. So the, the designers uh, um, constructed an aeroplane that could fly with these two engines. And um, the aeroplane is made all of wood because um, aluminium uh, was uh, important for, for, um, you know, um, for the war. And uh, so it, it was difficult to, to get hold of. This is an uh, English engine, Gypsy Major. In the 1950s, uh, the original 120 horsepower engines were replaced with um, 145 horsepower Gypsy Major 10 that has, uh, has um, uh, electric start and um, has generators. Originally, the aeroplane had only electric power from this generator. During the German occupation of Denmark in the 19, uh, from 1940 to 1945, Kramer and Soiden did not build sport aeroplanes because uh, private flying was banned. But they were sent to Minden in Germany to learn about uh, Built uh, modern building technique for uh, for aeroplanes, and they were actually where they made the Fiesler stock. Uh, this, being an uh, ambulance aeroplane, has a door for a stretcher, which is here. And of course, we have all our our luggage and uh, things in here. But you could um, it, the aeroplane could carry two lying passengers on, um, uh, on stretchers and two sitting passengers, a nurse, a pilot and a um, co-pilot who was also a uh, navigator and doing the, the um, uh, radio, which wasn't radio, they were doing Morse in those days. The aeroplane is uh, licensed in the experimental um, category in Denmark. Anyway, you can have a look in here. And um, it has, of course, seats that you can fold up. Originally, it would have two stretchers over on the right side, one below and one on top of that, and then sitting passengers and the nurse. So um, come, come and have a look inside. So the seats can fold away, and we have, um, I'll just get in the front. In case the pilot from the other side is flying, swing the steering across, and um, we have engine instruments flaps, flying instruments, modern radio equipment, 
and a nice view. This aeroplane is designed for short field operation. Out on the wings, if you look this way, you can see it has what is called um, uh, slaps. That, uh, so, uh, so the wing tips won't stall. It has very big flaps. And if you look here, to operate the flaps, you have a very long handle that you push a button here and pull. And then you pull and pull. And the flaps move and move and How move. How many times do you have to pull? I don't know. But you can look out the window. See, it has very big flaps. What is the stall speed? Round? I think it's 55 kilometers per hour. That's where the, <laughs> anyway, where the mm -hmm. line starts. And then to get them back in. Anyway, this is the way it works. Wonderful. Please, uh, if you're in Denmark, go and visit Denmark's Flu Museum, which can be found at Stowning Airport on uh, close to the North Sea coast at Sønderjylland. Yeah. 